Hi all. Today we are going to discuss about multiplexer as a universal logic. That means by using the multiplexer, how we can implement uh, all logic, all gates. That's why multiplexer is called as a universal logic, so that we can implement all the gates by using the single multiplexer. Okay. First we will see what is multiplexer. We know that multiplexer is a combinational circuit that has a 2 to the power n input lines and a single output line. This 2 to the power n means n is a select line. 2 to the power n is input and single n is select line and it has always a one output only. Simply the multiplexer is a multi input and a single output. We can say like this multi input and a single output. Okay, we can implement all the basic gates, universal gates, all gates we can implement. That's why it is called as a universal logic. First we will see in left hand side, I have taken a truth table for all the gates. You can see AND, NAND, OR, NOR, XOR, XNOR, NOT gate and buffer gate. Okay, I have taken all the gates. We will implement now. This is the 2 is to 1 mux. 2 is to 1 mux. Okay. First we will implement the NOT gate. How the NOT gate can be implemented by the using the multiplexer. I am selecting A as my select line. Here we have a for NOT gate only one input is there. So I am taking the A as my select line. If my A is 0, this pin will be selected. If my A is 1, this pin will be selected. So in order to it act as a NOT gate, so the in output should be inverted of the input, right? So if my A is 0, what output will be there? Output should be 1, right? So I will fix 1 here. If my A is 1, my output should be 0. Since it is a single input, we are selecting it as a select line and we are giving the values for the these pins, input lines. Okay. If my A is 0, this will select the this pin. This means 1. We will get the 1 as output when we give the 0. So, if we give the A as a 1, we will get the 0 value. Why? Because if, if the A is 1, this pin go, going to select. We will get the 0 as output. So, this will act as a NOT gate. Come to buffer gate. This is my two input lines. This is my select line. This is output line. Here also I am taking the a as a select line okay if my a is 0 what I have to get in output if my a is 0 output also 0 right this is a buffer circuit what we give the input we will get the same as an output so if my a is 0 we will get the output as 0 0 means it will select this pin and if my a is 1 we have to get 1 as a output since it is a buffer what we give the input we will get the same as an output so if A is 0, this pin will select, so output will be 0. If A is 1, this will select this, this pin and we will get the output as a 1. This is for AND, this is for NOT gate, this is for buffer gate. Now we will see the AND gate structure. Okay. Same. Two input lines, one select line, one output line. This is for AND. Now we will see. I am selecting select line as A because it is easy to map. You see here we have A00, A11. Since it is a single select line, we have to give either 0 or 1, right? That's why I am taking A as a select line here. See here, A is 00. Now see the output and get output. My output is 0. When my input is 0, sorry, when my select line is 0, I am getting output as 0. If I give the A is 0, this pin, is, this pin will be selected, right, first pin. So here, what I am uh, getting the output? 0. Output is 0. So I am fixing 0 here. And when my select line A is 1, when my input A is 1, that means, see, if my A is 1, look at the output. I am getting 0 and 1, 0 and 1. So 0 and 1 is same as B, right? 0 and 1. 
both are same this output acts like a b b input so i am giving b as a second pin second input now you see if i give a a a as 0 b as a 0 0 0 okay 0 means this will select this pin what i am getting 0 only here you see if i get, if i put the value as 1 a is 1 b also 1 okay a is 1 b also 1 means if a is 1 this pin will select second pin b also 1 we will get uh, output as 1 here so i am getting the output as for uh, combinations 1 and 1 i am getting the output as a 1 this is for nand gate and come to the next gate nand gate now we will implement the nand gate okay yes same the one trick here is you have to look at the output and compare it with the inputs then only you can map it correctly so here also i am taking select line as a c when my a is 0 this will be selected first pin if my a is 1 second pin will be selected right so if my a is 0 if my a is 0 see the output i am getting 1 as a output for 0 0 i am getting 1 1 so i am fixing it as a 1 if my a is 1 if my a is 1 this pin will select if my a is 1 see the output i am getting a 1 and 0 right 1 and 0 you have to see the input now this one b input because we have, we already selected the a a input as a select line so here you have to look at the b second input does it look like b no it is inverted of b right in b we have a 0 and 1 but in output we have a 1 and 0 that means it's a b bar you have to compare it with the inputs that's why i'm giving b bar for the second pin now it is acts like a nand gate you check here now if a is 0 and if a is 0 and b is 1 a is 0 b is 1 means this this combinations for that i have to get one value right 0 One means this pin will select. Zero means this pin will select. I will get the value as a one output. Right here, I am getting one. Right, sorry here zero one combination. I am getting one. If my input A is one and B is one, consider A is one, B is one. A is one means this pin will select. B is one means here we have a B bar means zero. I have to get zero value. One one I will get the zero. One one my output is zero. One one here one bar, one means this will select this pin. Here we have B bar. B value is one. One bar means zero. We will get the value as zero. So this two is two one marks acts as a NAND gate. Now we will implement the OR gate. This is actually very simple compared to demultiplexer. This mul multiplexer is very simple. You have to know one logic. That is, you have to compare the output. This is the simple method. Okay. this is a simple method so you have to compare the output with the input that then, then only you can map it correctly so look at the or gate now or gate uh, when my here also for all gates take a as a select line then it will be very easy for you okay a is a select line when a is 0 0 see the output i am getting a 0 and 1 0 and 1 see the input compare it with the input okay um, output is 0 1 b see the b it has a 0 and 1 it acts like a b on the right output is acts like a b so i am giving b here because my a is 0 when my a is 0 this pin will be selected when my a is 0 what is the output 0 1 0 in is same as b that's why i am giving b here and when my a is 1 a is 1 see the output 1 getting one right fixed it is not changing so when it is fixed means 1 1 or 0 0 you have to put that value if it is changing 0 1 or 1 0 you have to look at the b input 
or is whether it is matching the B or not. You have to check that. If it is constant, means one one or zero zero, you can directly put it as a one or zero. Okay. This is for OR gate. Now NOR gate. Yes. Two input lines, one select line, one output lines. A is a select line. When my A is zero zero, this is the NOR gate. When my A is zero zero, what I am getting? One and zero. One and zero is B bar, right? B is zero and one, but I am getting one and zero here. So I am fixing the first pin as B bar. Second pin. When my A is one, this pin will be selected. When A is one, output is constant zero zero. So I will fix the second pin as zero. This is my XOR gate implementation. I hope you got the trick. If you know one logic, you will you can implement for every logic. That's why I'm not going to repeat it every time. Okay. A is a select line. Same XOR. My A is a zero. When my A is zero, see the output zero one. I'm getting. 0 1 0 1 is same as b right 0 1 0 1 0 1 so i am fixing it as a b when my a is 1 this pin will select second pin a is 1 what i am getting when my a is 1 i am getting 1 and 0 1 and 0 1 and 0 is look at the b it ha you have to compare it with the b input here we are getting 1 and 0 but here 0 and 1 is there that means it's a B bar. B bar. Now you see, for a, take one combinations like one one. Okay, I will take one one as a combination. A is one and B is one. A is one means this pin will select second pin, right? A is one means second pin will be selected. B also one means here B bar we have for second pin we have a B bar. B is we are taking input as a one means here we have a B bar. That means one bar is zero. We will get the output as zero for combinations one one. You see one one we are getting output as zero. One bar means zero now. That's why for one one we are getting zero as output. Okay. This is my last gate, XNOR gate. Yes, this is my XNOR gate. Two inputs, one select line, one output. Here also same. For every combinations, better you take A as a select line. When my select line is zero, A is zero. See the output. I'm getting one zero, right? One zero. One zero is same. It's a inversion of the B. Invert of the B. B bar is same as output, right? B is a zero one. I'm getting one zero here. So Output acts like a B bar. And when my A is 1, I am getting the output as 0, 1. 0, 1 is same as B, 0, 1. So I am fixing it as a B. Might be, yeah. This is the output. Okay. Now you understood, right? How we can implement all the gates by using the multiplexer, not gate, buffer gate, and NAND or gate, NOR gate, XOR gate, XNOR gate. We can implement all the gates by using the MUX. Not only gates you can implement the logic also if someone give the equation f is equals to x bar x a bar b plus b bar a like this is xor gate debate but you can implement any logic by using the by using this um, multiplexer you can implement half header full header everything so for that 
in order to implement any logic first you have to understood the gates that then only you can implement any logic so i hope this will be help this would be helpful for you thank you